Hi, my name is Gad Dano, and I am an internet survival guru. When I engage in cutting and splitting wood by myself, I often find myself in the situation where I have to lift very heavy and unwieldy uh, rounds of wood up onto a splitting stump. And, you know, it's possible to do it with your hands, but you have to get into a, a deep back bend sometimes, deep leg bends. You're risking injury, and sometimes they're just so big, it's just hard to get a grip on them, especially if your gloves are wet or if they've gotten wet and then frozen, that's even worse. So I'm going to show you a few methods that I use to get them up on the splitting stump or up in a pickup truck bed or, or what have you. One of the easiest methods is to use a pickaroon for grappling and a two-wheel wheelbarrow. That's more stable and it works better for these heavy rounds. Now I'd be ready to split that Another around. Another method that I learned from Wrangler Star is to use a couple pickaroons or hookaroons, just a shaft with a sharp spike on it, and stick them in both ends of the log and use them as handles. Now the downfalls of this method are, you know, some wood is soft and the pickaroons go in easily. Some hardwoods, they really don't want to take even a pickaroon and I have to hit it several times to try and get it to stick. And then the other thing is, when you're dealing with a really heavy round and you're holding the handles vertically, uh, gravity wants to pull them right out of your hands. So if you have wet or icy gloves, again, gravity is wanting to pull them out. And you can feel it, and, and you're in a race to get it up onto whatever you're trying to lift it onto or up into your truck before it slips out of your hand. Now this method is a little bit, it's better, it's better than, you know, scooping down and grabbing it by hand, and it, it really works best with lighter rounds. A heavier round like this, I don't like that method at all, actually. Uh, it's better than your hands, but not a whole lot better. For the small rounds, it's a fantastic. The method is to try and use one of these. Now I know you might be saying, why do you have a two-man logging tool? in a one-man logging video. Well, I bought this tool because I thought it might work for uh, even one-man logging to pick up these 16-inch 16, uh, 16 in length rounds. Their diameter can be, you know, a lot higher, 20 plus inches, but 
I thought this tool might work for that and you know if you have a friend over then you both could get two hands on each side and lift a log and that's great if you got someone over but when you're by yourself you gotta ma make do but I find this tool can work for this as well The advantage to using the steel or aka log right uh, log lifter is that it, it allows me to get a good grip on what could be an icy log or my hands might be a little wet or icy gloves. It allows me to get a good grip on that handle with a secure attachment to the log and I can exercise proper lifting form for the most heavy items. I felt a little strained when I used the pickaroons to lift that round, but when I used the steel, I, it was a lot more comfortable and it just felt safer. And having suffered from some back injuries, I try and use uh, proper form and I try not to bite off more than I can chew.